Hi everybody! Welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. Boy, summer's sure coming quick, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm going to miss doing the Sunday School, but I'm sure Miss Joy will ask me to do a couple over the summer. So anyway, I hope you really enjoy this week's Sunday School lesson, because we sure enjoy putting it together for you. So, yay! Good to see you this week! There's something in the air You can see it in the trees It carries us along And gathers up the leaves No matter where we're from Or who we used to be It finds us where we are and gives us eyes to see It calls us out And gives us jobs to do You take care of me And I take care of you There's a strong wind Blowing through the land of God a strong wind blowing through the land of God. Oh, we don't understand how you always break us out. You show up in the dark, in the shadow of a doubt. You change our heart. You even change our name You give us words And a brand new song to sing About a strong wind Blowing through the land of God With such a strong wind Blowing through the land of God Carly. Have you ever met someone who you weren't sure about being friends with? One time, a new kid joined my class from a different classroom. We'd heard about him and he was kind of mean. We didn't want him to hang out with us. Honestly, we were a little nervous. One day, our friend, Rebecca, said that we should give him a chance. Rebecca met him at recess and said that he seemed nice. She said that we should try to get to know him. When we did, we realized that he must have changed because he was awesome. Our Bible story teaches us that sometimes love is giving someone another chance. In our story today, Paul, who is also known as Saul, is trying to be accepted by the people who follow Jesus. The problem is, Paul was known for doing a lot of bad things, but now he really just wanted to serve like Jesus. Barnabas went to the community and told them that Paul had changed. Though the people didn't trust Paul yet, they trusted Barnabas and gave Paul a chance. 
Barnabas shows love by speaking up for Paul so that Paul could help and serve. Just like my friend Rebecca, Barnabas helped the community see that people change. A second chance may be what someone needs to show they've changed and can do good. Sometimes we have to speak up for others too. People around you may not agree with you or accept what you're saying, but that doesn't mean you don't try. We have chances to show love by speaking up for others. When we love, we give everyone a chance. Now it's your turn to wonder. What'd you think about that story? You know, Paul changed. And, you know, he was somebody that the people of Jerusalem just didn't like at all. And, you know, and he changed his entire life. And he decided to follow Jesus and be part of that world. And, you know, it took people. People just didn't trust him. And so it did take him a long time to kind of win them over. Well, I can't say a long time, but anyway, it took him a while to win them over. And he had to have somebody stand up for him and say, you know what? He is a good guy. He is a believer. And sometimes we all need to be the person who stands up for somebody else, or sometimes we really need someone to stand up for us. So, but once they accepted the fact that, that Saul Paul was changed, they welcomed him with open arms, and he got to help grow Jesus' church. And that's how Christianity just kind of got, got bigger and bigger. You know, he was somebody who could say, look at me, look at how I changed. Look what Jesus did for me. It's a nice story. It really is a nice story. Okay, does everybody have this paper? So we can kind of work on filling this out together because it says, speak for me. What is your name? Well, my name is actually, my name that um, my parents gave me is Melissa, Jane, and my last name was Sarver. And then when I got married, I added my husband's last name to mine. So my last name is now Sarver West. Now, my friends and family have always called me Missy. That was my nickname. So, so people who are close to me call me Missy, and that's why you guys always call me Miss Missy. It's because we're close. What school do you attend? Well, I don't attend school anymore. But I used to. So, but what school do you attend? So what's your favorite subject in school? Mine was probably English. I like to write. Math was probably my worst. I had a real hard time with math until I got older. And then when I got older, I don't know what changed, but I finally kind of figured it out. So, but I, but English was my favorite. Math was probably my least favorite. I enjoyed gym. I liked science. I liked all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, what is your favorite school activity or sport? Hmm. Mine was probably playing softball, and I liked, um, liked volleyball. I like those two. What's your favorite? What are your hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? Like, do you like to draw? Now, me, I make greeting cards. I do sewing. I like doing that. I like to cook. I like to read. So I, I read a lot and I like to read a lot of different kinds of books. So what do you like to do? Okay. 
fill them out. Anyway, have fun. Okay, now it's time for prayers. So, bow your heads. Some people like to, to fold their hands. And repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for always loving us. Help us show others love. Keep us all safe. Keep us all healthy. And soon, Lord, may we all be together. Amen. Good job. Okay, guys, that's it for Sunday School this week. I'll be teaching it next week, too. So anyway, bye. Have a good week. Say your prayers. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hopefully see you next week.